You ever wonder what you get if you take Sasori from Naruto and you have him bang the Assassin's Greed, long dick style. A very sore ass Assassin's Creed. Anyways, hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I got another Soul Hunters uh, spotlight for you guys here. Today, this is Garrick, Garrick, Garrick. I'm just gonna call him Rick. This is Rick, the bounty hunter, and the end result of a weird mixture between Sasori and the Assassin's Creed guy. Yeah, look at him. He looks... He looks like their long-lost grandchild. Come on. Why isn't this clicking? Oh, I know why. <laughs> That's because I'm playing on my iPad. Alright, so, check him out. He's got the eyes, the little mask over his head, the, the, the sword, the dagger. He's got it all. He's their, he's their perfect grandson. Anyways, let's get right to the point here, guys. And let's go into his skills. So I have 20 available points right now. I'm going to just use them all on dead or alive skill here. And we'll go right into that and see what that's all about. So as you can see, it's, a lot of things are happening right now. There's a lot of things changing, so I'll let you know what those are. So, this is the dead or alive skill. A random prize is placed on the head of enemies, of every enemy. The hero who kills them will get the prize. The prizes are five types. Health, energy, physical attack, physical shield, and magic shield. Hmm. Affected enemies take double the damage from basic attacks and may not become invin invisible. The ability also increases the attack speed of allies. Wow, so this is... This skill does a lot of things all at once so one whoever kills it automatically places as you see it automatically places one of the five prizes in every one of your enemies whoever kills that enemy will get that prize whether it's health whether it's an energy boost whether it's attack boost or it's physical whatever will get the prize but this will also cause the enemy to you can't go invisible I mean, I don't know if that means uh, it can do a lot of other things too, but I'm not sure about that skill. But it also increases the attack speed of all of your allies. So it's a really, really nice skill. And it's probably going to be very useful in uh, some situations. Let's go to the next one. Invisibility. Rick becomes invisible and cannot be selected as a target for single target enemy abilities. Alright, using a basic attack and... Uh, Rick's invisibility, but the basic attack deal additional damage. Hmm, using a basic attack ends. So I guess he's he's invisible until he uses a basic attack. Okay. So if he's not attacking, he's going to be invisible. That's what it's kind of saying. And uh, that's kind of tricky there because it says it becomes invisible. It cannot be selected as the target for single target enemy ability. So I'm thinking right now, I mean... I wonder if this also includes, um, I'm sure it probably doesn't include AoE uh, attacks. That's the only question. We'll have to test that out. The next one, Flying Shuriken. Throw a ninja star at the enemy party, dealing physical damage and stunning enemies it hits for a short period. So I'm guessing this is going to hit everybody in its path. Right now it's only a level 14, so it's dealing 500 damage, 510. So that's not bad. And if it stuns everybody, which is good. Because once he's at, you know, once it's all the way fully leveled up to the end, it'll affect everybody in the same level. So, looks pretty good. And Discipline Killer. Rick's physical attack gradually builds up over time, eventually being released and providing a large damage increase to basic attacks. Alright, so I guess his physical attack... So, it increases his physical attack. Right now, it's 324 per second, that level 14 skill, so... I'm guessing that's going to be pretty good as well. Anyways, let's not waste any more time. Let's not beat off around the bush anymore. Let's get right to it. Um, I'm going to go at an early stage here. and I wonder what stage I'll do. I'll do maybe this one again. Level 66. I think... Actually, let's just try it. Let's give it a shot. If I lose... Oh, I don't have enough stamina. 
Oh well, let's use this. If he loses, he loses. <sighs> All right, so let's go with this level here, and I'm gonna use uh, a tank to to provide him some support in the front. Some. Let's see here. All right, so there's he's invisible now. I'm, well, he's getting hit, but I guess those are AOE attacks. There's that flying shuriken, and it stunned the enemy for a little bit. Alright, he's invisible again. So he goes invisible pretty often. So far, so good. Now, let's use his ultimate here and test it out. Okay, so there it is. I mean, you can't... If you could kind of see, everybody's got some kind of a... Um, you know, an award on top of them. Boy, if you used it twice, they have double the award. So if you can use it twice consecutively, they could potentially have double the award. And he dies. Alright, so let's just re leave this stage now so he died. You can kind of see his abilities there. They're actually pretty cool. So yeah, I mean, I think this guy looks pretty, pretty awesome. For now, he's pretty useless because he is the sign-in hero of February and it's just February 2nd right now so he just came out but depending on um, you know how soon they release his soul stones he is gonna be pretty useful some of his attacks I mean it's gonna be a lot of luck involved you know depending on what you could get but I mean it that's not gonna help it's not gonna hurt no matter what you get whether it's gonna be attack whether it's gonna be energy whether it's gonna be a magic shield the only thing that I noticed is he doesn't have a magic attack, so he might be a little useful for, you know, physical teams since he only boosts physical attack. That's one thing to just look at. Other than that, it looks pretty cool. It looks, he's going to have some um, stun involved. So yeah, I think he's going to be a nice hero to have when he comes out later on. So, I mean, you'll have a whole month now to sign in and get this guy. And then probably next month he might be available so everybody can use him pretty well. We'll find out how good he is back then. So that will end this episode from uh, from me, from this guy. The end result of Sasori and Assassin's Creed. Let's hope that doesn't happen. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. I'll see you guys in the next Spotlight video. And be good. Love you guys.